This is Austin St. John, and you are watching That Hashtag Show. You better pay attention. I have with me the Gold Ranger, Knight of Xandar. Hello, the name is Davi Santos. Nice to see you. Awesome. So, what can you tell us about this guy? Uh, so Sir Ivan of Xandar is from the medieval ages, and of course he was captured by Fury, our demon on the show, and was sitting inside his tummy, sort of like Pinocchio in the belly of the whale, for uh, 500 years. And then he finally got to come out when, after being... Um, yes, and then touched the energy and then came back out and then got to join the Power Rangers. That's awesome. So, now that the show's over, what was your favorite part about being in New Zealand and just filming the whole thing? Or just even after life, like when you weren't on set, like... New Zealand was such a wonderful like world outside of the world. I mean, being on this little island, the, the community was so small. And so I was able to meet some amazing people. I befriended an, a real knight, actually. Yeah, a real knight. And I was like his guest of honor. And so it was really strange going to work and then coming like outside and going to these dinner parties and looking at all this artwork. And, and I saw so much uh, theater as well, because that's my background. So there was theater almost every day. And they had so many different ones. And I lived uh, just overlooking the water. And it was just, it was wonderful. Did you see any shows while you were out there? Any theater shows? Yeah, I, I was seeing, I mean, we had international companies that would come. So I saw this, uh, I saw Macbeth by the Congo Opera. And I saw uh, Inaudi, which is this world-renowned composer with Claire, who plays the Purple Ranger. We like, okay, we're almost finished with this uh, with the day, right? And then we asked our driver to like take us straight to the theater, and we just and we were like changing in the car, and we're like, okay, we got it. And then uh, Ryan, who played Heckle, the season two villain, you know, he's from there, so he had his uh, his whole posse. So we would like go off to there was this place called Cathedral Cove. You jump into the water and you see the fish, you know, swimming and like. It was nuts. It was really was. Sir James's house <laughs> was like my ideal. It was like two floors and just covered in art everywhere, you know? And we would just like sit down and talk about the colonial architecture of... I think I kind of am Sir Ivan deep down, deep you know? Down, you deep down. Sir Ivan. Yeah, we're just like talking about, you know, the, the history and architecture and the art and, and just wonderful conversations. And then like hanging out with uh, the natives of the of the island, you know? Those were, and like those beach trips were just like phenomenal. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, and visiting this lighthouse was also insane on the tip of the island. You know, and they say that's where when, when the, the indigenous people, the Maori, would die, their souls would go to the tip of the island and jump off and then go into the, the afterlife. It's crazy. So going there and then seeing this lighthouse and like there was this giant moon, it was just something else. What are you doing now? Now that everything's all over, now that you're back here in America, what, what, what are you up to? Well, I jumped uh, right into a film in Oregon that's making a festival circuit now. Thank you. Yeah, I got to revisit Ryan in Australia because it uh, premiered at the Mardi Gras Film Festival over there. That's called Something Like Summer, which is going to be dropped very shortly in L.A. Keep watch for that. Yes, and I just filmed uh, Polaroid, which is this horror film by the Weinsteins, by the, the team that made The Grudge and The Ring. So watch out, that's going to be on August 25th, that's going to come out. Are you going to be dying or something? Let's hope not, but you never know in those kinds of movies. Yes, and uh, yeah, and follow me at uh, Davi2Santos, and I will always post information about when those things come out.